Hey, can I tell you about my new string trimmer or weed whacker? I know it's kind of a funny thing to talk about, but for 12 years, I had a string trimmer that was the cheapest that I could find at the time. And it did the job and finally gave up the ghost. After which I bought a very similar but newer model. Again, the cheapest that I could possibly find. And it just lasted a few uses and then it was pretty much done because they don't make them like they used to. It just was not up to the task of doing the weed whacking that needs to be done in our lawn. It's just a little bit too big and a little bit too many challenges for us to use one that's just the cheapest. So I finally broke down. It was difficult, but I broke down and bought a high quality weed whacker. And when I first used it, I could not believe the difference that it makes. I can't believe that I went all those years using a tool that I've now discovered was really inadequate. And I know you probably have some situations where the right tool is so important. Maybe in your work, maybe it's the right technology, but without the right tools, our job can be difficult, if not impossible. Well, there's a spiritual application. God has a tool that's indispensable for you to build the life that God wants you to have. And that indispensable tool, the most important tool that you can have, perhaps aside from just having God's presence and God's spirit in our lives, is to have God's wisdom. The Bible tells us with regard to building our houses in Proverbs 24, 3 and 4, by wisdom a house is built and through understanding it is established. Through knowledge its rooms are filled with rare and beautiful treasures. That house represents your life. And I can tell you, God wants to establish your house on a firm foundation so that when troubles come, your house, your home, your life will stand. And not only that, God wants your house to be filled with rare and beautiful treasures. And we understand that's figurative. That is that God wants you to experience good things. And that's not just a feel-good message that is the Word of God. He wants to fill your house with rare and beautiful treasures, but that can only happen through the application of godly wisdom. So I want to encourage you to do what it says elsewhere in the book of Proverbs. Though it costs you everything, get wisdom, because with wisdom, everything else that you need can be experienced and attained. We're going to be looking at wisdom a little bit more throughout this week, and I want to encourage you to do what you can to get the wisdom that God has for your life to be firmly established and to have every room filled with rare and beautiful treasures. God bless you as you go after wisdom. I trust this word has been a source of strength and comfort. During this trying time, our church is bringing you these words every day Tuesday through Saturday. Also, you can join us online for interactive live stream services throughout the day and evening on Sundays starting at 9 a.m. and then on Monday at 7 p.m. You can find the links to all the online resources to stay connected as God's family at getvictory.net. Until next time, let's stay in God's presence and peace.